So, can you explain what causes square shaped breasts after uplift stroke reduction? Okay, yeah. I Now I get asked this quite a lot and I see it a fair bit. Um, can, I, can I read that? Okay. A few bits to it. So. Okay. What causes square shaped breasts after an, a breast uplift or breast reduction? Does it settle? If not, what can be done? Not your work asking for a friend. Thank you. We've had a few of those. This yeah, not yeah. Your work, we have. Just, we, no, no, no. We've had a few not your works asking for friends. And we've also had a few. I've seen these square breasts. What causes that? How will that not happen to me? Okay. So if you imagine a breast reduction uh, or a breast uplift is composed of different bits, we may be reducing the width of your breast. We may be shortening the height of the breast. Most people think about a breast reduction and a breast lift as reducing droop, i.e. shortening the height. And that's where it goes wrong. Because if you think about the shape of a breast, a droopy breast, now, if you were to truncate that droopy breast by reducing the height, you know, lit oh, you know what, I need a bit of paper here. Shall I do it? Shall I just go crazy and get a bit of paper? Right. I, I'm, this is like, you know, 12 year old boy doodling, right? But let's say that is a droopy breast. And then we were to only shorten that droopy breast. Only shorten it, so we've now truncated it. Well, what will happen is you'll get that kind of shape. You get your squaring off of the breast. So you need to not just shorten the breast. One does need to narrow and shorten. You need to tighten from the sides as well as shortening from the height. And this, um, this kind of truncated, um, this sort of squaring off can happen if there is too much height shortening with not enough width reduction. And you can actually get the opposite as well. You can get too much width reduction with not enough shortening, but that's quite uncommon. Rare, rarely would a surgeon do that because that's kind of not what we're programmed or misprogrammed to think about. We, we think more about reducing the droop. So if you're truncating the length without reducing the width, um, then that's why that happens. And that's how it can be avoided too. I really, 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 I, I plan, I over plan. Um, I do half of your surgery when you're in clinic before you even get to the anaesthetic room, before you get to theatre. And that's with my taping and then I measure and I readjust and I do things. Then in theatre I might tail attack, which uses, uh, I, I mean, I plan a lot. Um, there was a builder who did a whole load of work for us when we used to live in Yorkshire back in the day. He used to say, uh, measure twice, cut once. That's the most terrible Yorkshire accent ever, isn't it? But <laughs> you're normally good at accents. Yeah, I'm only good at them when I'm not thinking about it. You're under pressure. Yeah, I'm under pressure. It's performance viewers. anxiety. <laughs> yeah, all these fifteen of you. So, <laughs> so, so, um, I, um, yeah, d lots of preparation for that. Now, will it get better spontaneously? Uh, right. It may well not do. It may well not do. The exception to that is if it was a, um, a mastopexy with a breast implant and the breast implant causes some stretching of the skin, essentially of the lower pole skin, the lower breast skin, essentially what that's doing is stretching out some of that, you know, droop that the surgeon just corrected and it will redress that mismatch. And if it does that, then by some, by a happy accident, yes, it can get better. Um, but if it's, not going to do that, if it doesn't basically bottom out or re-droop, um, then it's not really going to get better and you're looking at um, adjustment surgery to alter that. So I'm sorry, it's not what you'd want to hear. It's one of those things that if you see, you kind of think, yeah, you just got to bite the bullet. That's going to end up in um, probably in revision surgery if the, if the patient's not happy when you see that one. Okay, so that's that.